and gentlemen, a very warm welcome on board my YouTube channel. My name is Julia George. I come from North Macedonia. I'm currently living in uh, Germany and I was a cabin crew for Qatar Airways for the past 10 years, where I have resigned from, the last, from my last work position as a cabin service director. In this video, we're going to be talking about the weight requirements to become a cabin crew in Qatar Airways. And if you are someone who's pursuing your dream as a cabin crew uh, within uh, other airlines such as Emirates Airlines, Etihad Airways, um, fly Dubai, you might uh, find some of my informations useful. Nevertheless, any airline that you would like to follow, please do um, follow the guidelines uh, and the standards of that airline and inform yourself in order to um, uh, show and present yourself the best way you can during the recruitment process. So make sure to stay tuned until the last minute of my video to find out what are the weight requirements when you are, when you are applying for a cabin crew for Qatar Airways. As you all know, the non-negotiable rules of Qatar Airways do not have a specific uh, requirement that is related to the weight, but they have something called that we should be in excellent health and fitness. So therefore, our conclusion when it comes to the non-negotiable rules and regulations is that our weight should be somewhere down the line normal. Now, what is considered as a normal uh, weight? To get the desired information of the question I pop up before or what is our uh, normal weight, we should be um, checking at our body mass index. Now what is a body mass index or a BMI? Body mass uh, index or a BMI is a value derived from the mass and the height that we have. Over here I have a body mass index chart calculator which is pretty easy way to calculate in which category do we belong. Now, there are five categories uh, which are um, observed, which I, ha which I was able to see on the internet, uh, which are determining the category in which we could belong when we calculate our body mass index. The categories for the um, body mass index are divided into five of them. They start with the category of underweight, which is the first one, then comes the healthy one, then comes the um, overweight, the obese and the high obese category. In the BMI chart calculator over here, you can see that all of these uh, categories that um, are having their um, uh, colors are pretty much over there also determinated. So once you find your um, uh, your height and your weight meeting together, you would be able to check what is your BMI. Um, and um, as you can see on top of the chart, it's written your um, your weight in uh, kilos if you want to count, if you want to look at it, or in pounds. And your height, um, you can look at it um, as in centimeters or in um, uh, feet. Let me explain to you now how do I calculate my uh, BMI for myself. So I'm currently uh, 69 kilograms and my height is 167. Now on the top side, I'm going to go to the number 73 because my number uh, of kilograms is not there. Uh, it's uh, the number that I see close to mine is 68, but I cannot go from the number 68 as I'm above 68. So I will go on the number 73. I will go down on the chart and find my uh, height. I'm calculating in kilograms and in centimeters, and I'm going to find 167. And I will see that my number, uh, it's marked with a uh, yellow color. So if I see over here on the chart, uh, um, of the categories that the BMI has, I will clearly see that I am uh, overweight and um, I have to admit that I have been working hard recently to uh, lose that extra pounds due to my pregnancy as I was pregnant and I delivered my baby girl four months ago. So if you calculate that your height and your weight are meeting up with anything that is uh, not green because uh, the green one is the category that says that you are uh, healthy or you are in the normal category of BMI, then there is something that you should do or you can do, uh, of course, if you want, you would like to get the job um, uh, to become a cabin crew in Qatar Airways and to go back now to the non-negotiable rules and regulation to demonstrate to the recruitment team that you are actually someone who is in excellent health and fitness, just like written here in the non-negotiable rules and regulations. And a very common question that I get is how to lose weight or how to gain weight. Um, no matter how much I would love to present myself as an expert in this field, 
uh, how to gain weight uh, for me it's very easy from my point of view as I'm gaining weight easy um, and how to lose weight uh, my way of working with uh, this struggle always has been uh, giving up on food uh, trying to eat a clean uh, diet or focusing on protein diet it's very hard for me as I'm vegetarian but I'm still uh, trying ways uh, as incorporating uh, soya products in my diet uh, cheese I do eat cheese and eggs so I can compens uh, compensate with that uh, then definitely exercise exercising is something that I cannot imagine my life uh, without during my pregnancy the last three months of my pregnancy I was not exercising at all recently I have come back uh, to my daily exercise routine and I'm absolutely loving it because it makes me so happy and so satisfied within myself so uh, if you belong to the category of uh, overweight just like I am right now Please uh, do follow a diet that you think it's suitable for you and that it works for you. One way to follow a diet that I can recommend to you is perhaps uh, following a diet that is suitable for the blood type that you have. Let's say my blood type is A positive. So the diet that I'm following for vegetarians pretty much works on me. If you let's say a blood type zero, perhaps a diet that uh, you can follow is a keto diet or a diet that uh, would um, uh, ask that asks from you to eat more meat it, it this is all something that you should explore within yourself with the, so much of resources out there on the google itself don't forget google should be your best friend when it comes to these things and never start um never start um uh, stopping yourself from um exploring and from trying um, also, I would like to mention here that on my Instagram account, uh, on my personal Instagram account, I do have a diet that um, I'm following uh, when it comes to a proper meal plan and that helps me to uh, lose weight, which is right here. Feel free to have a look. Um, if you think that makes sense and that is suitable for you, then why not? You can do that. Um, and try before going for the open day to bring yourself and to look yourself in the chart according to your height and your weight that you have been in the um, normal uh, that you have you have the normal body mass index or the body mass index that belongs within the green category because the body mass index for all of us it's different as we all have a different height and um, uh, it will be uh, definitely um, uh, different numbers of kilograms um, that we're putting with having all these things said thank you so much for watching my video do not forget to click um, subscribe on my youtube channel for the many other videos and many other tips that are coming out until then stay blessed and i'm gonna be seeing you very soon bye bye and have a nice day